Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you guys are new here, I am a full-time reseller in Portland. I buy things at Goodwill, um, specifically at the Goodwill outlet, which is a pay by the pound. And then I resell it on um, Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And that is how I get to stay home with my two-year-old and I get to pay my bills. So um, I went to the Goodwill outlet this weekend and I think I got about 45, 46 pounds. And I was just gonna share with you guys what I got. I think it's a pretty good haul, so here we go. Um, first is just this Banana Republic hat. It is a 100% wool. I just thought it was super cute um, little hat. And then next was this Tilly hat the Tilly mashup hat. So if you guys are not familiar with Tilly hats, you guys should always pick them up if you guys find them, especially at the Goodwill outlet. Um, I've found these before and they always sell for at least $30. So people that look specifically for these hats. So that's that. I did get this New York hat, which I might wear. I think I kind of liked it for myself. It's a size large. And it's just really cute. So I did find a few, like three bras. So this is the first one. It's this pretty lace bra. And the brand is Felina. And it is a 34 triple D. So that's a good size. Another pretty lace bra, really similar to the other one. This one is, the brand is Wakol, Wakol, Wakol. And these do really, really well. Um, this is also a 34 triple D. And then I did find this Cacique. Cacique, 2224, and it's like this um, Teddy, I think is what it's called, or Slip. It's really cute, it's red, good size. This is just a champion like a baseball tee style tee and it does have like the names on them and stuff but I think it can still do like 15 which is good enough um, next is just a jerseys and it's a cool it says um, dream and it has a bunch of like symbols on it so I thought it was pretty cool it is a size small. Next is this REI size men's large and it's like a hiking, like a fishing um, button up. It has like all these pockets everywhere. It is vented. In the back it has like the mesh. So that'll be a good keyword to put in the title. Next, this brand, I think it's Jane and Delancey, Delaney? I'm not exactly sure, but it's like this really cute button up striped blouse with the little fringes at the bottom. It's really cute. It does not have a size, so I will have to look that up. Next is this Violet and Claire size medium. It's just like a floral sleeveless um, top. It's really light. This was a pretty cool find. So I, I live in Portland, Oregon, and this is a seaside vintage tank, seaside beach, and it is. Um, so whenever you find older graphic t-shirts, there's usually a date on them. This one is a 1989, so it's pretty vintage. Next is just this Adidas size, small, just a plain gray t-shirt. This was a really cute top. Aster, the label. I believe they sell this at Nordstrom and it's a size small. It's like a cute little off the shoulder little crop blouse. It's like a boho style. It's really cute. 
This was just a fun shirt. It says um, Pura Vida Costa Rica, but it's like has all the cool pictures in it. Next is a Quicksilver. It says Waterman Collection, extra large, like a hiking, again, like a hiking, fishing um, button up. So that should do pretty well. Tis the season. This is, the brand is Bordeaux, Bordeaux, size small. I've sold this brand before. It usually sells pretty quickly. I believe it, it's Anthropology. I'm not a hundred percent sure. So I found two of these. I'm not sure where the other one is, but it's a Joan Voss, New York. And it's a extra large, just like a waffle knit, cool cardigan, open, has pockets. It's really cute. This brand, oh, it's Smart Tool. I didn't even notice that brand. It's a large, just a basic long sleeve blue shirt. Next is just Columbia, size large. It's like a button up again, but it has like a cool fish pattern on it. It's really nice. This is a cool shirt. The brand is called Freak. It's a size medium and it has this really cool picture on it. It says Freedom. Which is really nice. Um, this was a, oh, this is just BP, which is sold at like Nordstrom. It's a size large and it's just like a tank maxi dress. So it's like really long, just a plain maxi dress. It's like a gray black, like an acid wash black color. This is just Top Shop. Again, this is sold at Nordstrom, size four, just a basic white tank. So if you guys watched my last haul video, I um, found for the first time a dress that was um, Fresh Produce brand and I had mentioned that I had heard it before on another reseller. It ended up selling like the same day I listed it for, I think it was like $22. So that was cool. And then this time when I went to the bins, I found another Fresh Produce, size extra large. This is like a floral pattern and it's like a short dress. I think the other one was a maxi dress. This is a short dress. Has the two pockets, super cute. I'm sure it'll sell quickly. This is a Bob Marley t-shirt, which should do good. This here is a Nike Golf size large but it's like a striped textured striped black polo golfing stuff usually does pretty well for me as well i do usually like to um, pick up more than if i can more than two um, golfing polos same size just because uh, people like to bundle that kind of stuff up but it's okay Here's that other cardigan that I was telling you guys about. It's the same exact one that Joan Voss, but in black. It's really cool. I loved the color on this. This is just, the brand is just the Gildan Medium and it's a Rocky Mountain National Park shirt. It has the cool print on the back. I love the color. It's really cute. This brand, I'm not sure the brand, but I think I can't really read it, but it's just like a really heavy cotton, like button up acid wash, like a kind of acid wash brownish gray color. It's like really sturdy. It says 55% hemp and 45% organic cotton. So that's that. This was just a, the, I think this is a reversible coat because how I know is because the uh, tag is in the pocket. 
It's a Columbia size small. And it's just a cool reversible coat. I thought it was cool looking. This was a new brand that I've never found before. It's called Bench. It's a size medium and it's like a really cool zip up jacket, hoodie, coat, sweater, sweatshirt. I think it should do well. This is, this brand is called Sherpa and it's a large, zippy, full zip hoodie. It's really, it looks like good, um, quality so we'll see how it does next is this Eileen Fisher and it's a size large it's like an orange full zip um, hoodie and then a Madewell size small really soft um, sweater let me see I it feels like cashmere so oh no it's mer um, nylon merino wool alpaca and elastane elastane it's really really soft so that was a good find david found that actually uh, next we have an avalanche large a jack fleece jacket full zip i believe i've sold this brand before and it sold um, not really quickly, but it did sell for a good amount. So I'm happy with that. This is a Keen size large. You guys have probably seen the Keen shoes. I didn't know they made clothing, but I guess they do. And it feels like a really nice, thick, um, hoodie. So I grabbed it. We'll see how it does. This was a cool find. David found this as well, I believe. Um, so it's an NFL like vintage adult medium wool blend. Here's the tag and it's a Redskins sweater. I know that they recently changed the name of it. I looked up the comps and the same exact sweater of that one, but it was in white, had just sold yesterday for I think like $42. So I was debating if I should hold on to it a little bit longer and then post it or just list it now. Nah. I'm probably going to list it now, but we shall see how it does. Um, these are just Adidas, like a track pants, and they do have the ankle zip right here. These don't have the size tag. It got someone cut it off, so I'll have to do a little bit of measuring and a little bit of research. These were really nice. They're Zara. And they are a size small and they're just these really cute like a what do you call these like a trouser casual like career pants really nice next is j crew these are called the matchstick size 28 they're like corduroy pants they're in really good condition is adidas size medium and they're just these like leggings with the like thick elastic waistband there and then it has the logo down the leg and they're full length really nice these are j crew jeans and they are a 29 28 in really good condition as well like a dark medium to dark wash these are prana size 12 and they are just these jean pants but they are like cargo style they're really cool actually and they're also in very good condition and it's a great size these are rei size 4 like a hiking pants nylon they have like the um, velcro and the uh, zipper on the waist on the ankle here's a uh, similar to those adidas but these are nike you can barely see the tag it's kind of fading but they're these like 
um, leggings with the mesh on down the leg. They're actually really nice. I might keep those for myself. These are Athleta size medium, and they're just these green pants. They are a wider leg, so they're a little bit out of style, but I'll still try to, I'll probably price those at like 20. These are Torrid size 14, and they're just these black, uh, like jegging pants. They're in good condition, and it's a good size. And they're super stretchy, which is great. Our Adidas size extra large and they are just these um, leggings it's a good size this is these are airy they just seemed good because they were an extra large and they're like high-waisted um, like just leggings athletic leggings these are love tree size large I'll show you the tag it's halfway off love tree and they're just these black stretchy pants but they do have like this cool lace detail on the uh, bottom which is really cute I actually thought about keeping those for myself I might use them for like a cool picture we'll see um, these are Nike small leggings tight compression pants if you guys do not know on Nike items um, when, if you find the tag and then underneath the tag they have a small tag um, I'm gonna close up on here so if you ever don't know what the exact name of this piece that you have is you look at this small tag and then um, you look at so there's the first top line then there's the size and then there's the next line. So you look at that third line and just type in on Google Nike and then that number, it's like a letters and numbers and then it'll literally come up with the exact name of the item that you have, which is a lot easier when you're listing. Um, these are Citizens of Humanity. They are the Racer Low Rise Skinny. They are a size 29 and they're like these black jeans they, they look like they're brand new, but they don't have the tags. I just wanted to show you guys that Goodwill had these priced at $29.99. No way no one's gonna buy them for that much. I'm not even gonna price them for that much on my eBay. So no wonder they didn't sell, but now they're at the bins and I bought them for um, $129 a pound. So I'm gonna uh, make profit even if I sell them for 15 20 you know so this next is a new brand for me it's called Allen Allen they're a medium as soon as I grabbed these they looked expensive the tag looked expensive um, and they're just these linen wide leg pants they're really nice they have the elastic waist so those should do pretty well These are just like a, um, it's called Proper, the brand that's battle tested. And these are a size medium. They're just these really cool, like tactical cargo style pants, black pants. I thought these looked really cool. And then there's one last thing. This is, this brand is called Willow and Play. Dave found this. Um, so it's this really nice coat jacket, but it has like these spots on them. And Dave thought it was supposed to be like that, like a bleach um, spotted piece, but I don't think it is. But it's a really nice coat. Um, I looked up the comps and it looks like these had sold for like 30 to 35 on like Poshmark and eBay not of course not with the spots on them but um it's like literally all over so i don't know i don't know if i should still list it or just donate it back but i think i'm still just gonna list it just to see how it does and then that is all i got you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this haul video please do not forget to 
give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Bring the notification bell so that you guys can get alerted when I put out new videos. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are selling. I hope you guys are working and staying motivated. It's a new month, so I'm excited. I've been super busy listing, sharing my closet, shipping. Shipping was like crazy this weekend. I didn't realize how many packages I had, and then I shipped, did shipping yesterday, and it was took me like an hour and a half. But, yep, that's it. So thank you guys so much. Um, happy Tuesday, and stay safe, you guys. Bye.